acting proactively versus reactively. Taking steps to be prepared for less than ideal situations can put you in a better place than simply acting reactively. So just- It limits your options when you act reactively. Waiting for the fire to, to light before you make a plan. So for example, spending $5,000 on some legal planning could very well save you $25,000 or more. I was going to say 50000 Well, yeah, $25,000 to even start. Yeah. And not to mention all the headaches mm -hmm. it could save you. It's like buying fire insurance for your home. You do it ahead of time. You don't wait till the house is on fire right. to buy your policy. Especially because if you tried, they'd be like, denied. Mm. We had a business mentor who once told us it's a lot easier to build a fence than to pull an ox out of a ditch. And we've learned our own lesson here at home. We have our meditation pond in the background. We keep this beautiful turquoise chair next to the pond. And what we've learned is that it's easier to store your chair a little bit away from the water's edge than to pull that chair out of the depths of the pond in the middle of winter after a heavy wind storm. How about you? Are you being proactive in your life? Are you taking steps to be best prepared in case of a worst case scenario? I think I can weigh in on this proactive reactive question. Tell us about a time where you have either been proactive or you wish you had been proactive. We want to hear from you.